Blake Snell has been on a roll right now, throwing extremely well, coming off an outing against the Rockies in which he struck out 12 and in seven innings, no walks. Watch today, tonight for that fastball. Does he have control? Can he control his emotions? And you know he's going to be fully energized going up against his former team in the Tampa Bay Rays. As here is Yandy Diaz, who has been a huge part of what Tampa Bay has done this year and sort of a transformational year for him. There's strike three, his first punch out against Tampa Bay. That wasn't even a high fastball. That was just a four-seamer right down the middle. Challenged Diaz and blew it right by him. So here is Wander Franco. 3-2 again is spotted well enough for strike three. Just nipped a corner. Harold Ramirez is the batter, hitting third today, because he destroys lefty. Nasty inside strike three. I think Blake Snell's a little lamp for this one. He struck out the side in the first. Zach Eflin will get the start this evening. Coming off a rough one against the A's. Didn't get past five full innings, but he's been great for the Rays this year. Moves the ball all around. Big strike thrower. Throws east and west. Bottom of the first inning, no score. Fernando Tatis Jr. will lead off against Zach Eflin. To third. Tough play for Paredes. Tatis is going for second, and he is in there. An electric start for San Diego. Tatis just absolutely smokes this ball, but I think more than anything, that is a combination, Tatis, of not only talent, but energy. You saw the electricity, he rounded first, had second in his sights all the way, out there in scoring position. And it's a two-out walk for Xander Bogarts. Eflin's only walked 12 total guys this year. Two on and two out. And now another left-handed hitter, Jake Cronenworth. And he has sets up inside, and there it is. Middle in, strike three. Cronenworth gets punched out in the Padres' strand two. These teams have made a bunch of trades with one another. Big ones, too, the last few years. But Snell and Mejia were swapped. Check swing, he went. Plate umpire Jim Wolf calls it himself. Six strikeouts for Blake Snell in his first outing against his former team. Blake is picking up right where he left off against Colorado last weekend. Yeah, indeed. Here's Jose Siri, the number nine hitter. He swings, grounds it right to Machado at third base. Backhand knocks him down, gets up, goes to first in time. Out number two as Manny made a very difficult play look very easy. Yanni Diaz struck out on a fastball his first time, and he's quickly in a two-strike hole with two outs. 0-2, hit in the air, well hit, right center field to the warning track and the wall, and that one kicks back in. Tatis gave it a run. It is, in fact, the first hit for Tampa Bay and two bases for Yandy Diaz, who's down at second. It's a fastball out over the plate. We talk about Diaz's ability to go the other way, but this year he's doing things with power. Everybody's okay. Diaz at second base. Here is Wander Franco, 1-2. Loop to the right-hand side. Tatis Jr. makes the catch, and the inning is over. First hit for Tampa Bay. No harm done to Snell. Blake Snell, by the way, now with eight strikeouts. Now we'll see if Zach Eflin can continue putting up zeros. He'll start with Jake Cronenworth. As this to first base is for Yanni Diaz, and one down. Matt Carpenter will get in. He walked his first time. Eflin steps back and deals, and the first pitch to Carpenter hit in the air to deep left center field. Rosarain is back into the shadows at the wall, reaches out to make the catch. Couple of steps in front of the fence in deep left center field, and that is a 1-2-3, bottom of the fourth inning for Zach Eflin. 3-1 is outside, it's ball four. The third walk for Tampa Bay and two on with one out for Wander Franco. And we watched Snell early in this game just dominating. Vulnerable right now, and really this is the last guy you want to face in this Tampa lineup. To shortstop, Bogarts, Kim, and the turn not in time. Here's another guy that does damage against left-handed pitching. Snell to Ramirez. Swing and a miss, strike three. He went soft away for strikeout number 10, and the Rays maroon a couple more. No score in the bottom of the fifth inning as the offensive ships have run aground so far at Petco Park. Zach Eflin, Blake Snell, and a bunt from Kim, third base side. Paredes, tough play, not in time. Kim had the call before Mike Malinsky, the first base umpire. 
So Kim is on. Grisham the batter. He pops up a bunt. Back of the mound. And somehow that helium ball is a base hit. <laughs> well, it's a pop-up bunt store inside Slam Diego here in the fifth inning. And now Tatis lays one down for himself. And a spinning throw to first by Mejia is the first out of the inning on three straight bunts by the Padres. I feel like I'm required to ask you, is this a squeeze oh, from Soto? A one. In the air, center field on a line and falling quickly into the glove of Siri. His throw won't be in time, and the Padres, after the Bunt Festival, score the first run this afternoon. So Trent 90 feet away, two outs for Manny. Yeah, he put him in the deep freeze, little chopper third base side. Paredes, double clutch, and he couldn't find the ears on it. The Padres get another run. No RBI, but the run does score, and the Pods Lead 2-0 here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Love to see Blake get through six here. He should uh, certainly have the opportunity to finish six. The Rosarena will get into the right-handed batter's box. He has struck out both times. Wave and a miss. 11 strikeouts. Paredes is the only guy who's not struck out against Snell so far today. 2-2. Two -two. Another strikeout. He struck out at least once. Everybody in this lineup. Blake Snell, 12 strikeouts, six scoreless. I mean, you can't talk enough about the excellence of Blake Snell this evening and the game, the magnitude, the emotional component. He was outstanding. Quiet in the gas lamp quarter offensively in this game. Josh Hader, who's allowed all of one earned run in this ballpark all season. And there is strikeout number 16, one short of a season high for Tampa Bay. And they have. Left six runners on. They've only had two hits. To third oh. base and Machado. I got to say it again. I want to. I got to give my man Don Erso credit. The great Padre announcer. You just got Machado. For some teams, tying run at the plate is pie in the sky. It's not for the Tampa Bay Rays. An 0-2 and a strike three, and San Diego shuts out mighty Tampa Bay.